You know, obviously, I was lucky to be a fan of a lot of Japanese games when I was a kid, and especially very early on, around GDC or other events like that, meeting people like Mizuguchi-san, Matsuura-san, etc., and have like start to have a lot of contact with the world of Japanese development. So I've been always in this environment where you know I was learning glimpses of how it looks like things are in Japan. Obviously, my first experience with Square Enix, I had to discover many things, different processes, different structures, different ways of doing things. Then you really have to find a way to fit into the system so that you can really bring in a positive way some of the changes. Sometimes I'm wondering, what if I had started with Konami? Because I find it quite easy. From the first day, I felt at home. I think actually one of the key things Kojima-san was interested in is actually the tools, the pipeline and the workflow. Kojima-san has traveled a lot and he has you know, seen a lot of technologies all around the world. And it's true that in the West there is a lot of experience in that domain and you know, whether it was at Ubisoft or Eidos, etc. These are some of the key pillars that we are pushing all the time when we design technology. The key thing for me also is to make sure that the Fox engine is very much aligned to what he wants to do. Metal Gear is moving in the direction where the team is trying to do something different. A lot of games in Japan, they are still about pre-computed cinematics, putting more in graphics rather than motion quality, etc. The way they think about AI, the way they think about like mission settings, etc. It's like very much crafted for the player, etc. I can see things that we are trying to do into, in Metal Gear Solid that I haven't found in a lot of the other Japanese games. Maybe that will change. Maybe this is the beginning of a new trend. We'll see. There are a few key pillars today in the Fox engine. The one people talk all the time about is obviously the physically based lighting. For me, another key pillar is the multiplayer. The technology has been thought from the beginning as a multiplayer engine and it helps a lot. The third one is definitely the open world. With open world technologies, you can make linear games if you want. I mean, you don't have to make the levels super huge. Ground Zeroes is a good example of that. And then the fourth one is definitely the real-time editing. And so the Fox engine is probably kind of different from the, a lot of the technologies you find in Japan because I think Kojima-san is trying to do something different. The kind of things that we are trying to do on Metal Gear Solid, whether it relates to graphics, motion, multiplayer, etc., are actually things that have been uh, you know, established for, for quite many years in the West. It's always a learning curve. When you take a team and you change the technology, it's, it's always a learning curve. People have habits, they know where things are. are. Now also, we have a game team that has been releasing this large prologue of TPP. And, you know, this team is obviously has like a huge experience now with the Fox engine. So I'm sure that, you know, we are going to push things a lot further. There are actually technologies that haven't been brought onto ground zeros because the learning curve would, ha would have been too high. So we've kept some of the new systems for TPP in order to make like the first step less problematic. Some of these aspects are related to AI and things like that. Right now, we have established like a cross-generation way of making the game. So we were able to deliver uh, ground zeros on current gen and next gen thanks to that. And especially it's quite an achievement to have made it possible on current gen. <laughs> But we are not going to stop there. As you know, the graphics engine is extremely powerful. I want to make sure that the Fox engine can not only support you know, high-end PCs in the future, but also on the other side, to be able to look into the space of smart devices and tablets. Definitely the, int the intention is to run on the tablets. Now, what type of games we're going to make, what type of experience we're going to design, uh, that is totally up in the air. There's nothing like future-proof. Like the trends are changing so fast. I mean, everything could be, you know, JavaScript and PHP tomorrow, who knows? But the flexibility is fundamental. Obviously, establishing a long-term vision, whatever lies five years ahead will be wrong anyway, mm -hmm. unless things evolve in a very linear 
way, mm -hmm. but they won't. You need to have flexibility in your plan. You need to steer things around when you see that Konami is changing or the things around Konami are changing, etc. The team is really looking into building an experience that they have in mind and trying to you know, transfer this vision that they have into a game. And I think that all the team is, is just waiting for the fans and hoping that we're, we're going to meet with the experience that is designed, their expectations and the way they will want to enjoy Metal Gear Solid V.